Hi, so today I want to share the third mindset or mental model after the first one on all or nothing and the second one on catastrophizing. Today I want to talk about mind reading where oftentimes we find ourselves assuming and believing that we know how other people are going to be thinking, especially thinking about us, without really validating it or actually having data in terms of how they actually perceive us. So one context uh, may be, for example, that uh, we find, um, you know, my favorite aunt wants to cook a big meal for me and be very arrogant if I did not eat every single thing that she cooks. Um, and so you find yourself being fresher to eat uh, even though you might be on a diet. Um, as opposed to alternatively thinking, I'm not going to assume how my aunt feels. I'm going to tell her I really appreciate all her cooking and that I'm going to sample it to enjoy what I can, uh, but tell her that you know currently I'm embarking on a diet program to become healthier and, and hope that she'll support me on that. You know, And sometimes instead of just assuming, let's just ask and, and be direct with people because you never know they might not be thinking negatively as much as we would perceive them to do so. Um, in terms of exercise, uh, sometimes there's a situation where um, we are fearful of exercising because we think other people think it's weird if I exercise because I've never exercised before. Um, and that's an assumption that we make as opposed to saying, um, reach out to them and say, hey guys, what do you think if I start exercising uh, what are some of the tips that you might be able to give me to help me get started and one day be able to join all of you guys. So um, rather than assuming that people think we're weird, approach them and ask them for advice. And, and you might feel that people are a lot more welcoming and encouraging um, rather than uh, thinking that you're weird for doing something new. Uh, at work, sometimes we have this uh, fear that we're mind reading that our bosses might be angry at us if we left work before them. Um, and so there might be a situation where we feel, you know what, today I finished all my tasks and I'm just going to go up to the boss and say, I've done all the things uh, that were assigned today, so I'm going to go home now and spend time with the family or start exercising. And at least you'll, you know, you'll get an opinion from him. He might very well be supportive of you, know, you taking responsibility for having a balanced life and managing uh, stress and caring for yourself. And, uh, and so, so that you can start the, the next day at work even more refreshed. So don't be afraid and assume that people are going to think of negatively of us. Instead, approach them and, and ask for their Fitbit feedback or idea. So mind reading can sometimes hold us back if we assume people are thinking negatively of us. And um, hopefully we're, we'll take that first step to approach them and ask and validate whether they really think about uh, us in that way and it actually may turn out to be more positive.